I welcome all of you to our Passover, a festival of freedom that the Jewish people have been celebrating for thousands of years. One of the things that I thought was really important to do with this Haggadah was to not only draw from historical accuracy, but also to use things that were very contemporary. There were some iconic, symbolic ideas that needed to be expressed, but I didn't want to make them so rote. One of the things that really caught me was the vastness of the Nile. Many people don't realize it's an enormous river at parts. So I thought that that would be a more interesting way to work with the Moses basket. With the biblical map, I looked online for varieties of maps so that I could pick and choose the things that I thought were the most relevant to the map that I was going to create for this book. Well, my favorite moment using this I got out was the first time I used it as a Seder. I said to him, how do you sound like the Seder? He said, this time, I understand it. I said, wow, that's great. That's just what I want. We opened the door for Elijah at the very beginning of the service, even before we light the candles. We wanted to teach the children. We wanted to encourage everyone at the table to remember that part of our legacy as Jews is the generosity that we should show to others. In this Haggadah, God is understood as energy, an energy that is both transcendent beyond us and eminent within us. This book is dedicated to the youth of the Jewish people. We who have come before you and stand at the roots of the tree of life while you rise above us in its blossoming spring. The story of your ancestors is now in your hands. Tell it proudly.